What's happening everybody? This is Eddie from One Life to Game with another NBA 2K16 video for the Xbox One. Today I will be playing as the Cleveland Cavaliers, taking on the Atlanta Hawks at the Phillips Arena. And this is a game that was uh, suggested by one of my subscribers, so I appreciate that. And certainly if there are some teams that you'd like to see me play with or against... Um, Please just go ahead and submit a comment either on this video or on any of the other videos uh, that I have or in the live stream, and I'll be happy to get a video up for you. So let's go ahead down to the floor and get this game underway. Thanks so much for tuning in. Free game show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with my esteemed colleagues, Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. And here we are, opening night of the new NBA season. Every club at this point can be optimistic. Some teams just looking to make the playoffs, others with much higher aspirations, Kenny. Yeah, well, some people would say that you can start with a clean slate. But then certain people are saying, we're building off of last year. So this is a continuation. But whatever happened last year to some of those teams who didn't get their, reach their goals, they just can wash it out and start. But there are certain teams saying, yes, we are who we were last year, and watch who we are this year. You want to come out the gate strong. Ernie, I think we're in for an exciting year. And it was a pleasure seeing you and San Tropez on, on our vacation. <laughs> yes, that, that's it, a nice aqua machine you it got. It was very surprising was to see invited. to see you there, uh, big fella too. That was, I was, it was not memorable. invited. How'd oh. you like my bathing suit, honey? <laughs> well, let's get it to Kevin Harlan. and vibrant Atlanta, Georgia, the capital of Georgia, and our location tonight. And a pretty cool shot there of downtown Atlanta as we get this game just about on. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. It's all about the Eastern Conference. That's where the action is today as the Atlanta Hawks get ready to bet. Yeah, we've got the uh, top two teams from the Eastern Conference the last season squaring off here at uh, Phillips Arena, so this should be an exciting one. Of course, a uh, pretty big blow for the Cavaliers just off the bat is Iman Shumpert. Yesterday it's announced that he was is going to miss the first uh, 12 weeks of the season at least with a wrist injury, and he just had surgery. So uh, let's see how that goes. Plus the fact that you're not quite sure if uh, Kyrie Irving and or Kevin Love will be available at the start of the season with their injuries from last postseason. So hopefully they can get into the action kind of quick for Cleveland. Great shot there by Kyrie Irving as he stops on a dime and puts up that jumper for a quick 2-0 lead for the Cavs. Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James, and he said there's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all. I think you just have to... Oh, good rejection there by Mozgov, and LeBron's going to get a fast break opportunity here. Nice pass there to send him up with a wide-open jam. And uh, I've just upgraded the uh, difficulty to Superstar, so I'm just trying to get used to it. As I was playing on Pro for a little bit, so we'll see how that transition is for me. And that's bad defense there. And all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation. But, well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. And it's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. And LeBron with a nice strong drive there gets the call from the official. LeBron's going to head to the line for the first uh, free throws of the game here. From the line a season ago. So I like these new uh, uniforms here that Atlanta's got. Pretty cool, and a new floor design it looks like as well on the perimeter area. Cool new color and paint scheme for them. 
And certainly you have the addition of uh, Tiago Splitter coming over from San Antonio. So that should definitely be a nice boost for Atlanta's front court. And he'll certainly bring a lot of experience along with him. Free throws good for LeBron. So LeBron gets a nice bounce there and sinks both free throws. We got a score of six to two, Cleveland. Moving against T. And Jeff T trying to set up the offense here. Wasting a lot of time doing so. Dishes it to Corver. And Corver misses a uh, open three-point attempt there. Oh my god. <laughs> I passed that out a little bit too oh, far. No. Shumpert against Corver. And Shumpert kicks to Love. Mozgov passes to Shumpert. Count that one. Shumpert's got his first basket of the and night. Nice job by Shumpert there to get himself open. So Cleveland goes up now 8-2. to two. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Nice lay in there by Splitter. Kind of a battle of two men that have cement in their shoes, and uh, Tiago Splitter won that battle. It's LeBron with the oh, LeBron just easily gets around the defense, but misses that. That's too close to the basket to be missing those kind of opportunities. I can't get around Horford there. There you go. And. Splitter grabs an offensive rebound and drops that one in. So Atlanta just pulls right back in with, uh, within two now. Yeah, some contact there that the official let go, but Irving with a nice finish to that layup makes it 10 to 6. Teague for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Irving passes to LeBron and stolen by Splitter. Here's Millsap. That's good. And so T with the assist. Millsap and that play was really set up on my brutal passing there. Just a, have an atrocious turnover gets Atlanta in the uh, transition attempt. So what's going on out there, everybody? Tell me what you think of NBA 2, uh, 2K16 as a whole. Have you watched a lot of other videos? What do you think about the game? What do you like about it? Want to hear about it in the comments section? I appreciate you coming by my channel to watch this video. And uh, it's always good to have new and old viewers coming back. And I invite you to follow me on Twitter also, at one life to game. And I've got my daughter watching the game with me, too. She is uh, two years old and loves basketball. We like to watch uh, Cavaliers basketball in our home. So she's enjoying this, and she recognizes a lot of the players just by looking at this uh, video game. So you know it's uh, pretty darn real. So we're having a good time. Smith checked in for Shumper, and Mo Williams subbed in for Irving. Cavaliers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And Williams, here we go. Goes up on the high post. Rebounded by the Hawks. Now here's Schroeder. There's 57 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Horford gets the bucket. And that was an awesome pass by uh, Schroeder. And it's with the no look there to Al Horford, who is wide open and hits that outside jumper. And Tristan with a nice dash down the floor. He's going to go to the line for two. Foul called on Horford in that one. The Cavaliers have gone two for two in the game at the line. That free throw good from Thompson. Atlanta making a switch here. Splitters checked in. 
So we see Tristan at the line here who still has to uh, resolve his contract issue with the Cavs. Hopefully that gets done soon. And so Thompson nails both of them. And Tristan with a few good strokes there to hit both free throws. And Atlanta comes back down. The Hawks working the ball around. Splitter sets a screen. Here's Hardaway. Layup off the pick. Splitter misses. Smith dishes to Williams. Screen by Smith. Williams passes to Thompson. Millsap with the steal. Here's Schroeder. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet for him. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Well, another garbage possession for me on offense, and Atlanta comes down. James, that misses. And uh, hits theirs, and LeBron misses the last shot of the first quarter, but a good one so far at Phillips Arena as we're all tied up at 12. So enjoy the rest of the game to come here on One Life to Game YouTube channel. This is NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One, featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers and Atlanta Hawks. Had a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can and live with the results. Again, just another part of the match. And those interviews are a pretty cool feature of the game. Uh, pretty realistic in terms of a, a TV presentation. However, the players sometimes look <laughs> drunk in those, so I'm sure they didn't spend as much time on those uh, extra features as they did and how they want the players to look during the game. But pretty cool nonetheless to add that to this to these kind of games. And Cephalosha loses the ball, but he somehow drives on LeBron and is able to sink that layup, so Atlanta pulls ahead 14-12. to 12. And, they've done that and a nice shot there by Kevin Love. It's ruled three by the officials. So Cavs go back up here. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now here's T. Splitter sets a screen for T. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two that's kind of a weak call right there as the uh, offensive player initiated that contact. And uh, Corver with a nice pass, too, because he was open for a three. And I've, obviously, that's a strong suit. So Millsap's going to go to the line for two. And I also wanted to comment on uh, just how realistic, you know, all the arenas are, and particularly here at Phillips Arena, you only hear the organ playing. And uh, when a player, when a home player hits a three-pointer, there's also that... Uh, three sound whatever that the PA announcer makes so that's pretty changes Horford comes in for splitter and it's Kent Bazemore in for Tavo Cephalosha Mozgov he's checked in for Cleveland Jefferson comes in for LeBron all three throws good for Milson now Irving To the left wing. Here's Mozgov. Bazemore grabs the miss. The Hawks leading. And Teague has it in the corner. Pass to Bazemore. He dishes it to Horford. Here's Bazemore. He's guarded by Love. And he gets it to go. And some pretty, uh, pretty awful switches by me there in defense. Just some... They had mismatches everywhere on the floor there. And Moskov comes running down the floor. Nice pass by Irving to find him. And uh, we've got a 18-17 point lead here for Atlanta. 
And <laughs> great look down the floor to find Horford wide open for a dunk. So again, some pretty awful defense displayed by me. Try to correct that as the game goes on here. Again, some contact there on Irving and uh, doesn't get the call, but he finishes the layup. It only counts for two. Two is all. Not quite sure what happened there. Was that a timeout call by Atlanta? All right, yeah, because it looked like the play continued after the whistle blew, so just making sure. And there's the generic assistant coach who's on every team for some reason. I've noticed that guy with everybody. And we get a look here at Mike Budenholzer coming over from uh, San Antonio to coach these Hawks. And a drastic improvement they've made with uh, him at the helm. So we'll see uh, from the Cavaliers' perspective what um, sort of differences, if any, Richard Jefferson makes on the team. You know, he's kind of getting up there in age, so we'll see. And uh, hopefully that's not foreshadowing there as he missed that layup in transition. Not the easiest of shots, but uh, you'd like to see him finish something like that. And T gets right around Kevin Love with a pump fake and finishes that. And it looks like we got a timeout here by the Cavs as Teague celebrates as he leaves the floor. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Irving kicks to Mozgov. Outside for Jefferson. The feed to Love. And he uses the glass on the lane. And Love just slowly, slowly approaches the basket on that one. And not much uh, resistance from the defense. He gets right by for that lay-in. And close to a turnover there for the Hawks. They retain possession here with 12 on the shot clock. And we're approaching halftime here with a close game all the way around. And that's a shot Corver would like to hit. Irving passes to Love. Jefferson kicks to Shumper. Pass to Mozgov. Hey, not who I want dribbling the ball there. The clock. Oh, nice. Jumper with the... And, uh, oh, shooting foul. Just bailed me out there. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get that attempt off by Love before the end of the shot clock, but I got bailed out there. So some home cooking on the road for the Cavs with that. And Chumper did a nice spin move to initiate that play. Cleveland also making some changes. Anderson Verajau's checked in for Moscow. Smith comes in for Jefferson. And it's Williams in for Iman Chumper. The Hawks trail it. 1.32 left to play here in the second quarter. Now here's Schroeder. He's covered by Irving. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. Boy, with two fouls now, he really has that was a super pass by Schroeder. Just kind of a no-look dump-off pass right there. And uh, Kevin Love then bites on the pump fake and gets called for his second foul right before the half here. Tristan Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. And it's LeBron in for Kyrie Irving. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And there's the basket whistle blows. And that's just, again, awful defense by me. Initially a, a bite at the pump fake, and uh, LeBron gets called then for the foul as he tries to recover and uh, block Hardaway Jr. on that one. The Atlanta shooting their third free throw shot of the game.
That free throw good from Hardaway. A minute 20 left in the second quarter. James outside. Smith outside. Feeds it to Williams. Can't get it to go. So the Hawks will take it the other way. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Again, the Hawks score. Nice, uh, nice sequence there by the Hawks to go up by three. In front. Now, I don't know if this field goal percentage is sustainable, but if they can stay close to what they've done in shooting the ball, they'll they'll run away with this one. The shot's good from Smith, and they've got to talk to each other. And a big time three pointer there by J.R. Smith to tie this thing up at 27. As the clock runs down here towards halftime, and Schroeder again gets to the basket. He's been a thorn in my side so far. Love the way he's playing off the bench for uh, Jeff Teague. That has served them well during the course of this first half. Now here's Williams. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. James. And Splitter pulls it down. Clock is clearly on their side. Exactly, and they can hold it for the last shot, and I think they will. There's the dish to Cephalosha. Passes to Schroeder. One second left, and it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. All right, great first half of, ba of basketball here in Atlanta. Cavs trail the Hawks by two. So let's head over to halftime. Again, I appreciate you watching One Life to Game. This is NBA 2K16. First half of basketball, LeBron. How do you feel about the team and its performance tonight? Yeah, we're doing a good job. We're on the road. You know, our shooters, uh, we missed a couple at the end. I uh, wish we would have went in, but they're going to continue to shoot. Uh, but it's going to be a big second half for us. So we got to continue to play like we did in the first half. Continuity is key, LeBron. Thank you. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, Doris. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back in there for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And an exciting time of the year as the first game of the regular season is halfway through. A competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle and they were able to close out the half in a good position. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, quite simply, their bench showed up tonight. And when I say showed up, I'm talking about on the offensive end because they were scoring in bunches. Now, you want your reserves to just at least come in and hold the fort, but they did way more than that tonight. Looking at Cleveland, Jack, your thoughts? Well, they're just not offering enough resistance on D. You got to keep your guy from scoring. You got to be aggressive. You got to play physical, Ernie. Push them around. No one's going to give you anything. You got to clog up the lane, close out on the shooters, get in people's face. You got to go out and take it. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the horn. All right, so this should be a great second half of basketball as we head back to the floor. Very close game again all the way around, so I can't wait to see if I can pull this one out on the road. This is the uh, Superstar Difficulty um, NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One. And I am the Cavaliers on the road here in Atlanta. This is One Life to Game. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the video game as a whole. Love to hear your uh, read your comments. And uh, give me those thumbs up, please, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at One Life to Game. All right, let's get to the remainder of the game here. Five-minute quarters. Atlanta with the ball. The lead is two. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for Cleveland. I guess that's the consequence there when I'm trying to play a little bit more aggressive defense. Got to reach and foul there. 
But I believe that was Shumpert's first of the game, so I'll take that. Picked by Horford. Here's Splitter. Loses his man off the screen. I mean, that that's just awful. Let Splitter race to the hoop like he's uh, an Olympic sprinter. LeBron against Millsap. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. And LeBron just goes right at Splitter for that one. And I needed that, I think, to set a tone to my teammates to wake the hell up. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good What an awful pass. I don't know why he didn't put any zip on that one. And Teague almost hits that jumper over LeBron. LeBron coming down the lane again, but misses that layup. That would have been nice to get going here to tie things up here early in the third quarter. But definitely a sense of urgency here for both teams at this point. Good screen there by Splitter. Good shot there, a three-pointer for Atlanta. And that results in a timeout for the Cavs. You know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, and you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. Yeah, Splitter plays like a force of nature in this game, so... If you pick the Hawks, that's definitely uh, someone you want to go to the go to the hoop with. Shumpert against Corver. Mozgov a screen on Horford. Another miss by Jane. Well, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. At least as I look at it. Now here's Millsap. Teague drives in, and the rejection by LeBron. Now that, that was spectacular. I'm not sure it wasn't a goaltend, but that was just nice to see right there. And Love hits a wide open three. And LeBron found him there as he was uh, driving into the paint. So Love's got 11 points here, shooting 80% from the floor. And that results in a timeout here for Atlanta. Atlanta calls timeout. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Matt Bazemore has checked in for Sporting. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for the Cavaliers. Off the inbound. And Horford finishes inside. And that's way too easy of an inbound play there for Atlanta. And Mozgov again gets caught a little bit out of position, a little bit slow to rotate. But I don't know if I should be blaming him or myself. Good shot there by Timofey to make up for it. And good ball movement uh, there by the Cavaliers to find that open shot. Here we take a look at uh, Della Vidova getting some defense in. He feeds it to basement. Oh, good steal there by Kyrie. For the tie. And Delavadova finishes that playoff. And a nice pass by Kyrie to find Delavadova there. But we've got this thing all knotted up now at 36 with about two minutes to play here in the third quarter. So hopefully. Oh, my God. Please. What is that? <laughs> Kyle Korver just did like the moonwalk in the midair. And a uh, nice pass by him. We're going to have some free throws here by the Hawks. Looks like Millsap's going to be going to the line for two. You know, most guys would be satisfied with that stat line, but he's built for more. Shooting two. Shooting 
<laughs> what, what did I do? <laughs> Man. Schroeder subbed in for Jeff T. And then for Cleveland, Thompson, he's checked in for Mozgov. Smith comes in for Kevin Love. And Mo Williams subbed in for Kyrie Irving. So good miss there by Millsat. I'll take any misses I can get from the Hawks at this point. Because the they've been uh, pretty good on the offensive end here. A little bit, but he did do enough As they should be. The They're a pretty darn good team. James against Millsap. LeBron kicks to Thompson. Here's Williams. Oh, Mo Williams with a nice jump stop there, but misses the easy layup as he shook the defender. I'm going to need those to fall. And LeBron missed the layup earlier this quarter. And, of course, Bazemore comes right down and hits that open jumper. So those are uh, definitely sequences I've got to avoid. Outside Williams. Oh, LeBron gets free. And what is that? Jeez. But at that time, I uh, clean up my mess there and dunk that home. So good bailout play right there because that was uh, headed for disaster. Now here's Schroeder. Not a lot of room. Pick by Horford. Good pick. Schroeder passes to Millsap. And the shot is good. And another great play where... Atlanta was able to just penetrate, and my whole defense just kind of fell apart there. Very selective and deliberate in their offense. That's a good strategy when you're on top. Now here's James. Eight points for him. <laughs> James is man played around a little bit too much with the ball there. Millsap took it away. Well, they ought to be. I mean, that's basic. And Paysmore finishes that. He had some contact there by Mo Williams, and he still gets that to go. So. Fantastic offense by Atlanta again. Here's Williams after the basket by Atlanta. Man, I gotta get something going here. No way. That's not really who I wanted coming off the screen. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Six on the shot clock. It's Williams with the drive. Nice take there by Mo finishes at the basket. So Cavs trail by three again. Here comes Schroeder. Quickly gets down the floor. The wing jumper off target. And LeBron throws that ball out of bounds there to end the third quarter. So this game remains close. And I'm going to need a pretty quick start out of the gates in the fourth quarter since there's only five minutes each quarter. And Atlanta's uh, been scorching hot on the offensive end. And my defense has been pathetic. So uh, some good things to work on, but I'm having a good time. Hope you are too. This is One Life to Game on YouTube playing NBA 2K16. So comment, like, and subscribe for me. Rolling once more, the fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well contested game. So it's the Cavaliers now. Teague out there with Hardaway. Then there's Kyle Corbin. And it's Splitter. And it's Horford. Now that's. That's what I'm talking about. LeBron just streaking down the floor. And uh, Corver moves out of the way as he did during the playoffs last year and allows LeBron to get that nice dunk on the road. Good way to start the quarter. Now it's here where I got to clean things up. Good shot by Horford there to use the glass. It's a good shot up over Love. So can't exchange buckets here. I'm going to have to get that defense working pretty standing back. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Here's Shump following the basket by Al Horford. Irving attacking, and it's blocked. <laughs> that, was, that was a fantastic rejection there. That might be one of those plays that saves the game. And Corver uh, went up strong to just... Knocked that out of bounds, or uh, knocked that right back to his teammate. I mean, here's T. Shot misses. Glad that didn't go. James, the pass to Irving. Yes. All right. Great ball move there by the Cavs. Irving gets that uh, one right back that he wanted a moment ago when Corver slammed it away from the basket. This time I finish and I go to the basket for. And one opportunity. 
Cavaliers making a switch here. Osgod's checked in. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Hawks? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And again, I just get burned. A great pass there by, by Teague to find the open man. I've let that happen far too often this game. And that's starting to be very frustrating here. My Irving, why are you so far back? There you go. He dishes it to LeBron. Out to the wing. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Fires top of the key. Ah. Oh, bad offense there. Just a lot of pointless passing. And Hardaway misses that one. Ah, another missed layup, but Irving uh, really had... That was a tough layup there with Horford in the way. Here in the fourth, oh, that would have been a big bucket for him. Now here's Teague, looking for a splitter. He gets it there. That's good. Wow, just just terrible play by me down the stretch here. What excellent vision by Jeff Teague out there. I am very unhappy with myself, but whatever. Can't win them all, so uh, we're gonna have to keep going, keep going hard at this one. We still got a few minutes left to try to piece this together. Things to maybe get if I'm going to play defense, now would be a good time to start. Like a quick hitting play here if I can. During that last break, I heard David Blatt as he addressed his team. He told us guys, I know. What was that? Jeez, oh man. <laughs> I haven't done that all game long, and all of a sudden, like, that happens right now. Man, Splitter, thankfully, misses that. He's converting it into points. And LeBron converts at the other end. Good mismatch for him there to exploit. LeBron's got 12 points here. Timeout for Atlanta. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Paul Millsap's checked in for Atlanta. We've got two minutes and 11 seconds to go at Phillips Arena. Atlanta leads by two. It's 49 to 47. On defense, the Cavaliers. And I'm just hoping for a few stops here to uh, try to get control of this thing. Here's Horford. Oh, nice block there by Mozgov. Couldn't have come at a better time. And that was not the shot I wanted there. I was actually trying to pass it back to Shumpert. But once I got too, uh, too much in the air with Kyrie, that was done. So the crowd's getting crazy right now. We've got under two minutes left. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Great job there by Horford to finish that one and draw the foul. So fantastic possession by Atlanta there, and man, I hope that wasn't the dagger. There's still some time left, but I almost have to play mistake free down with the last minute and a half here. And that's a big break by for Atlanta to miss that. Jumper comes down, so quick hitting play there by the Cavs. And Atlanta will take another timeout here to discuss this one. <laughs> Jumper, mean mugging right there, and I wish he was healthy to go to start this season, but he's going to be out till uh, almost January. Spacing, And the mysterious assistant coach talking uh, strategy with his players there before the end of the game. This has been a good one. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'd much rather do this kind of thing than a blowout game. Oh, Mozgov with a deflection, and it remains with the Hawks. If only I could have held on to that ball. 
Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. What well, just happened? Atlanta calls timeout. Okay, it was a, Atlanta left the floor celebrating, and I didn't know if I missed something, but it was just a timeout. 20-second timeout. Oh, stolen there. Okay. So we got a chance. And again, Jumpert <laughs> receives the pass from Kyrie Irving and throws that one down. So we're knotted up at 51 with a minute and 18 seconds left to play. Good screen there by Millsap. Oh, Tiago Splitter gets the rebound, and he's hacked by LeBron, but a good foul. Game for wow, this is great basketball here down the stretch. I couldn't have asked for a better game. And I'll take that foul, and hopefully Tiago misses at least one here, but we'll see. That one goes in for him. That was a lucky bounce. And pretty clutch there by Tiago to... Not only draw the foul, but to get that offensive rebound. Otherwise, I would have been off to the races. <laughs> Let's look at Anderson Verja on the bench. He looks mentally checked out. And Tiago hits both of them, so pretty big free throws by him. Great atmosphere right now at Phillips Arena. It's a pick by Love. James kicks to Irving. Again, Torford. Cleveland moving it around. Lock at six. Mazda dishes to James. Pulls up on the wing. And a nice shot by LeBron there. He gets a little bit of space and is able to hit that one. Um, that was a kind of a lucky shot, too, because I was bailed out, I think. I couldn't get the play I wanted to on offense. And Teague misses that one. All right. Love outside. Back to James. To take the lead. Oh. All right. Timeout Atlanta. And that was a okay shot in terms of uh, having an open open opportunity there, but the dangerous part is Atlanta can definitely hold for the final shot, so they've got a chance to uh, just win this one here at the buzzer. I'm going to hope for some sort of turnover or missed shot at least so we can take this one to overtime. So you guys are locked in here to one life to game. This is... The Cavaliers on the road in Atlanta, tied up at 53 with 16 and a half seconds left. Enjoy. Almost a violation there. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. Oh my God, and Irving with the turnstile defense just lets Teague right by him. And Mozgov could not come through there with the help defense. So I'm going to try for something quick hitting here at the basket. If I can't get it, um, we're going to just try for a three to win this thing on the road. So this is the, I've got 6.2 seconds to make something happen. And I guess I'd rather have that amount of time than Jeff T hitting a layup with the uh, clock expiring. So, here we go, folks. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. He kicks it to Mosko. Here's Shumpert. Right. Oh, wow! Iman Shumpert, the unlikely hero, and that's it! Wow, I knew I was going to have to take a three because 
I couldn't penetrate, and then I passed the ball to Mozgov. And is Kyle Korver still playing defense with the game over? Oh my gosh, that's not who you expect to take and make that final shot. And the fans here at Phillips Arena are going to go home unhappy. Let's take a listen to Kevin Love here. What does it mean to the resiliency of this team to pull out a win like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win. So, I mean, we're really just grinding it out as much as we possibly can. We're getting better every day. So, we're happy we got this win. I got to give it all to my teammates and my coaches. Hard work pays off, Kevin. Great job. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now we'll send it up to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who is standing by for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. You could just see the intensity and focus from him, right, Kenny? I mean, he wasn't fazed by the crowd. You know, usually that's the case with him, but not tonight. He came in determined to make the little plays, make some big ones, and keep the momentum going. Well, he reminded us all of how dangerous he is as a slasher. He drove the lane time and time again and got points inside to show for it. An explosive, hard-charging performance. I love it. And that's it for our broadcast. All right, guys. So thanks so much again for tuning in. This was really, in terms of uh, competition level and a great ending that wasn't predictable, this was probably one of the best videos that I uploaded in that regard. So um, thanks so much for, for coming by. We had a fantastic finish, a game-winning shot by Iman Shumpert. Um, so if you're just tuning into the live stream now, you're going to want to watch this game. I am going to go ahead and upload the video now for on-demand viewing. Um, so again, this is One Life to Game on YouTube. I really appreciate you coming by. I invite you to comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel as I'd love to have new viewers uh, come back. And uh, definitely follow me on Twitter also as I post uh, some other video game content. My Twitter handle is at One Life to Game. So I'd love to see you give me a follow. And um, all right, look out for another video of mine in the future. I appreciate you coming by. And if there's any teams that you'd like to see me play with or play against, just go ahead and comment for me and I'll make it happen. All right, have a good one, everybody. Free throws, and Atlanta comes back down. The Hawks working the ball around. Splitter sets a screen. Here's Hardaway, layup off the pick. Splitter misses. Smith dishes to Williams. Screen by Smith. Williams passes to Thompson. Millsap with the steal. Here's Schroeder. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet for him. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Well, another garbage possession for me on offense and Atlanta comes down and uh, hits theirs and LeBron misses the last shot of the first quarter but a good one so far at Phillips Arena as we're all tied up at 12 so enjoy the rest of the game to come here on One Life to Game YouTube channel this is NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers and Atlanta Hawks chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can live with the results. Again, just another part of the match. And those interviews are a pretty cool feature of the game. Uh, pretty realistic in terms of a, a TV presentation. However, the players sometimes look <laughs> drunk in those, so I'm sure they didn't spend as much time on those uh, extra features as they did 
and how they want the players to look during the game. But pretty cool nonetheless to add that to this to these kind of games. And Cephalosha loses the ball. But he somehow drives on LeBron and is able to sink that layup. So Atlanta pulls ahead 14 to 12. And a nice shot there by Kevin Love. It's ruled three by the officials. So Cavs go back up here. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now here's T. Splitter sets a screen for T. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two that's kind of a weak call right there as the uh, offensive player initiated that contact. And uh, Corver with a nice pass too because he was open for a three. And I've, obviously that's a strong suit. So Millsap's going to go to the line for two. And I also wanted to comment on uh, just how realistic, you know, all the arenas are. And particularly here at Phillips Arena, you only hear the organ playing. And uh, when a player, when a home player hits a three-pointer, there's also that uh, three. From nine. Great shot there by Kyrie Irving. As he stops on a dime and puts up that jumper for a quick two nothing lead for the Cavs. Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James, and he said, "There's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all." I think you just oh, good rejection there by Mozgov, and LeBron's going to get a fast break opportunity here. Nice pass there to send him up with a wide open jam. And uh, I've just upgraded the uh, difficulty to Superstar, so I'm just trying to get used to it. As I was playing on Pro for a little bit, so we'll see how that transition is for me. And that's bad defense there. And all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation. But, well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. And it's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. And LeBron with a nice strong drive there gets the call from the official. LeBron's going to head to the line for the first uh, free throws of the game here. From the line a season ago. So I like these new uh, uniforms here that Atlanta's got. Pretty cool, and a new floor design it looks like as well on the perimeter area. Cool new color and paint scheme for them. And certainly you have the addition of uh, Tiago Splitter coming over from San Antonio, so that should definitely be a nice boost for Atlanta's front court, and he'll certainly bring a lot of experience along with him. Free throws good for LeBron. So LeBron gets a nice bounce there and sinks both free throws. We got a score of six to two, Cleveland. Irving against T. And Jeff T trying to set up the offense here. Wasting a lot of time doing so. Dishes it to Corver. And Corver misses a uh, open three-point attempt there. Oh my god. <laughs> I passed that out a little bit too far. Oh, no. Shumpert against Corver. And Shumpert kicks to Love. Mozgov passes to Shumpert. Count that one. Shumpert's got his first basket of the And nice job by Shumpert there to get himself open. So Cleveland goes up now 8-2. to two. And he drops in the layup off the goal. Nice lay in there by Splitter. Kind of a battle of two men that have cement in their shoes, and uh, Tiago Splitter won that battle. It's LeBron with the oh, LeBron just easily gets around the defense, but misses that. That's too close to the basket to be missing those kind of opportunities. And I can't get around Horford there. There you go. And. Splitter grabs an offensive rebound and drops that one in. So Atlanta just pulls right back in with, uh, within two now. Yeah, some contact there that the official let go, but Irving 
with a nice finish to that layup. Makes it 10-6. Teague for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Irving passes to LeBron and stolen by Splitter. Here's Millsap. That's good. And so T with the assist. And that play was really set up on my brutal passing there. Just a have an atrocious turnover against Atlanta in the uh, transition attempt. So what's going on out there, everybody? Tell me what you think of NBA 2, uh, 2K16 as a whole. Have you watched a lot of other videos? What do you think about the game? What do you like about it? Want to hear about it in the comments section? I appreciate you coming by my channel to watch this video. And uh, it's always good to have new and old viewers coming back. And I invite you to follow me on Twitter also, at one life to game. And I've got my daughter watching the game with me, too. She is uh, two years old and loves basketball. We like to watch uh, Cavaliers basketball in our home. So she's enjoying this, and she recognizes a lot of the players just by looking at this uh, video game. So you know it's uh, pretty darn real. So we're having a good time. Smith checked in for Shumper, and Mo Williams subbed in for Irving. Cavaliers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And Williams, here we go. Goes up on the high post. Rebounded by the Hawks. Now here's Schroeder. There's 57 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Horford gets the bucket. And that was an awesome pass by uh, Schroeder. And it's with the no look there to Al Horford, who is wide open and hits that outside jumper. And Tristan with a nice dash down the floor. He's going to go to the line for two. Foul called on Horford in that one. The Cavaliers have gone two for two in the game at the line. That free throw good from Thompson. Atlanta making a switch here. Splitters checked in. So we see Tristan at the line here who still has to uh, resolve his contract issue with the Cavs. Hopefully that gets done soon. And so Thompson nails both of them. And Tristan with a few good strokes there to hit both sound, whatever that the PA announcer makes. So that's pretty good. Horford comes in for splitter. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Tabo Cephalosha. Mozgov, he's checked in for Cleveland. Jefferson comes in for LeBron. All three throws good for Milsen. Now Irving. To the left wing. Here's Mozgov. Bazemore grabs the miss. The Hawks leading. And Teague has it in the corner. Pass to Bazemore. He dishes it to Horford. Here's Bazemore. He's guarded by Love. And he gets it to go. And some pretty, uh, pretty awful switches by me there in defense. Just some... They had mismatches everywhere on the floor there. And Moskov comes running down the floor. Nice pass by Irving to find him. And uh, we've got a 18 to 17 point lead here for Atlanta. And great look down the floor to find Horford wide open for a dunk. So again, some pretty awful defense displayed by me. Try to correct that as the game goes on here. Again, some contact there on Irving and uh, doesn't get the call, but he finishes the layup. It only counts for two. Two is all. Not quite sure what happened there. Was that a timeout call by Atlanta? First time out of the game. 
All right, yeah, because it looked like the play continued after the whistle blew, so just making sure. And there's the generic assistant coach who's on every team for some reason. I've noticed that guy with everybody. And we get a look here at Mike Budenholzer coming over from uh, San Antonio to coach these Hawks. And a drastic improvement they've made with uh, him at the helm. So we'll see uh, from the Cavaliers' perspective what um, sort of differences, if any, Richard Jefferson makes on the team. You know, he's kind of getting up there in age, so we'll see. And uh, hopefully that's not foreshadowing there as he missed that layup in transition. Not the easiest of shots, but uh, you'd like to see him finish something like that. And T gets right around Kevin Love with a pump fake and finishes that. And it looks like we got a timeout here by the Cavs as Teague celebrates as he leaves the floor. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Timeout called the Cavaliers. What's happening, everybody? This is Eddie from One Life to Game with another NBA 2K16 video for the Xbox One. Today, I will be playing as the Cleveland Cavaliers, taking on the Atlanta Hawks at the Phillips Arena. And this is a game that was uh, suggested by one of my subscribers, so I appreciate that. And certainly, if there are some teams that you'd like to see me play with or against... Um, Please just go ahead and submit a comment either on this video or on any of the other videos uh, that I have or in the live stream, and I'll be happy to get a video up for you. So let's go ahead down to the floor and get this game underway. Thanks so much for tuning in. Game show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with my esteemed colleagues, Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. And here we are, opening night of the new NBA season. Every club at this point can be optimistic. Some teams just looking to make the playoffs, others with much higher aspirations, Kenny. Yeah, well, some people would say that you can start with a clean slate. But then certain people are saying, we're building off of last year. So this is a continuation. But whatever happened last year to some of those teams who didn't get their, reach their goals, they just can wash it out and start. But there are certain teams saying, yes, we are who we were last year and watch who we are this year. You want to come out the gate strong. Ernie, I think we're in for an exciting year. And it was a pleasure seeing you in San Tropez on, on our vacation. <laughs> yes, that, uh, that's it, a nice aqua machine you it got. It was very surprising to see, not to see you there, uh, big fella, too. That was, I was, it not was memorable. Invited. How'd oh. you like my bathing suit, honey? <laughs> well, let's get it to Kevin Harlan. and vibrant Atlanta, Georgia, the capital of Georgia, and our location tonight. And a pretty cool shot there of downtown Atlanta as we get this game just about on. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. It's all about the Eastern Conference. That's where the action is today as the Atlanta Hawks get ready to bet. Yeah, we've got the uh, top two teams from the Eastern Conference the last season squaring off here at uh, Phillips Arena, so this should be an exciting one. Of course, a uh, pretty big blow for the Cavaliers just off the bat is Iman Shumpert. Yesterday it's announced that he was is going to miss the first uh, 12 weeks of the season at least with a wrist injury, and he just had surgery. So uh, let's see how that goes. Plus the fact that you're not quite sure if uh, Kyrie Irving and or Kevin Love will be available at the start of the season. 
with their injuries from last postseason. So hopefully they can get into the action kind of quick for Cleveland. Following the miss by Al Horford. Unloads.